Hey everyone, Django Fett here from FX Sabres. Um, this is Judge Sabersmith uh, limited run of Star Killers. It is number five in the series. Uh, he sent me an empty hilt and I put a Crystal Focus 4.0 in it. Um, if you have never owned one of John's Sabres, uh, go get one. John is an excellent craftsman. Um, his attention to detail is very high and his design is top-notch. He has a couple of these left for sale. Contact him on the FX Sabres forums. Um, if you get an empty one, you can contact me for an install or he'll do an install or he might be doing a only have the uh, 2.5 ultrasound installs left. I don't know exactly what kind of stock he has left. I know that they're very limited. Contact him immediately if you want one. Okay, this one he sent to me without a uh, acrylic crystal in there because I told him I was going to put a, a quartz crystal and it came out pretty nice. There's a uh, Swartzky, I'm probably massacring the pronunciation, crystal right here that he mounted in there. It's a nice little attention to detail there. Um, all of these are regular screws. Um, what else can we go over? Uh, the grips are very low profile and it's extremely comfortable. I've put together two uh, machine effects star killers, one personal and one for a client, and I hated the grips on them. Um, this is the best solution. I, it, excellent. I did one of these, a similar um, style with the uh, one of the savers I sold, the Teta, recently. Um, it's got a Sol P4 red for main LED. There's accent LEDs. There's two in here and two in the pommel. Um, the batteries are nickel metal hydride for AAA batteries. Uh, the crystal focus, six sound fonts provided by Nova Star, Mad Cow, and Shade Slinger. He provided the Reaver font, which I want to show him in a saber. So we're going to be doing a little demo with that. Okay. Um, the control box, eh, it's going to be a work in progress. With the, the two switches that needed to be put in there, um, John had a solution set up with a, like a, a plastic um, cover that went that mounted on these two screws and he pushed down on it, but when I got it set up the way he had it with two um, switches, it didn't work very well because I'd hit, you know, meaning, meaning to hit one and it would do both of them. So uh, I came up with this. I it ain't purdy, but it works. And you know, when I get a better idea, I'll probably fix it. <laughs> okay, um, this is the uh, recharge port and kill key down here at the bottom. The uh, idle flashing LED is in the crystal. At least on this sound font. This is the main power button. Up here at the top. We have our bright red. We have our flashing crystal and pommel accent LEDs flashing right along with it. That's uh, Shade Slinger's uh, Reaver font, and I'm going to go ahead and load that up. It sounds just like this old Reaver game. I've been wanting one of these for ever, ever since Crystal Focus came out, and I, I've always been a real big fan. And he has, uh, well, I've never gotten around to it. But it's excellent. And thank you very much, Shade Swinger, for uh, sending me that advanced copy. Let's see if I can get the. Uh, Yeah, that's, that's from the game, too, and it, it's perfect for a force effect. All right. That's Mad Cow's Hero Fun. Let's just go into that one to finish out the rest of the show here.
Strong Nehemiah with the force. Okay. There are a couple of uh, pass-throughs and some custom stuff that I did, or not really custom, but preferences. Uh, these are actually, you can put uh, some Graflex pins in here, and they look nice. I just like the uh, little glowy effect instead, and he did this as a pass-through too. Um, this is also the blade retention screw, since we're uh, at that point. Here is the Ultra Edge. I also I honed out the uh, emitter to actually fit standard Ultra Edge. <laughs> okay, very tightened up now. And yes, weight into heavy. All right. Looks like pink in the photos, but let me turn the lights off so you can see the nice red. You want to see one with a heavy flicker? We'll do that too. Later.